welcome student today we are going to study the madrid agreement myself professor as rato department of agricultural botany kekewa college of agriculture nasik so in that last video we discuss what is the bonn convention it is concern that the cooperate so the today's topic that is the madrid agreement the madrid agreement is directly related with that the trademarks which are the different articles which are the different laws and regulations are important for the trademark so trademark it is one the type of intellectual property form or type and the madrid agreement is important to protect the all rights regarding the trade mark in that madrid agreement concern the international registration of marks came into force in 1989 so these are the some main features of madrid agreements in that an applicant must be national member country a person having his a domicile or a real and effective industrial or commercial interest in such country is also eligible it may be noted that this would be governed by the national law of the country in question then a mark to be registered in a member state should be first registered at the national level in the country of origin of the applicant then the first registration is called the basic registration so the next feature that is the country having given the basic registration can only transmit the request for international filing to the international bureau of the wipo along with the list of the courtiers uh, in which protection is being sought and there is no provision for directly filling a request under the agreement then next feature it is required that the country of origin has to be a member state and the role of the office of the country of origin is not only to send the application for international registration but also to certify that the mark which is the subject of the international registration is the mark which has been registered in the country of origin then next feature for each application a fee has to be paid for each designated country and wipo and the fee paid for the designated country is called the complimentary fee then the international bureau notify the international registration to the office of the designated country and the publish it is a monthly periodical called the wipo gazette of international marks if the basic registration is cancelled for some reasons in the country of the origin duration the first 5 years and the international registration automatically stand cancel in all designated countries so these are all regarding the madrid agreements in that it is directly related with that the to protection of that the rights of that the trademarks and in that we see the different features of that the madrid agreement so i hope you all understand what is the madrid agreement and it is related to that the ipr protection thank you